Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Shadowblades here with another Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to be covering some of the best vehicles you can get in the game. The first starter vehicle I would recommend to anybody would be the Armored Karuma. You can pick it up um, through Southern Customs. If you do the first high-end apartment heist, which is a two-player heist, it's very easy to get and you can get the discount for 525000 Um the first heist is going to be really easy and it will pay for the high-end apartment and then you can get the discount for the vehicle as you can see there's an armored guy with a machine gun a minigun uh, who would be absolutely destroying me right now if I wasn't in this even if I was in cover in a vehicle as well as it helps for getaways as you're pretty much bulletproof from any NPC damage when you're inside the vehicle and it's a four-seater so it's great for teamwork um, so you can help people out with it and yeah all around good vehicle very fast one of the fastest cars it's actually faster than some of my other cars that I own uh, definitely a great investment as a starter car if you're ever looking to see what you want to get first that's definitely going to be your first vehicle because it's going to be one of the cheapest on the list of cars I have today I also have secret abilities for other cars that a lot of people don't know about um, including something for the buzzard and something for the akula which will be mentioned further on within the video so another tip i can give you is if you're ever in trouble and you have the service. police on you you can go ahead and call lester the okay, next so you're in serious trouble. vehicle i would suggest would be the buzzard okay, for 1.75 okay. million as it's a great modes of transportation it has um, rockets lock on rockets that are I've never run out of some of the other vehicles in this list do have rockets that you can rock run out of so it's definitely worth looking into as it's a great investment as well as it comes with an extra perk that I'll be showing you a little bit later on in the video so as you can see I could call it from my interaction menu now you could get this in the armored Karuma for about 2.275 million or 3. Point to 75 million if you get a CEO office which allows you to call in two buzzards at once so for 3.275 million you can have an armored Karuma so an armored ground vehicle that keeps you safe as well as two flying vehicles that you can spawn in so you can spawn in the attack helicopter in your CEO options and your CEO vehicles and then also have a Pegasus one as well so you can have two Another thing to note is that when you become a CEO, you get a fast travel vehicle. It costs $5,000 every time you use it, but if you're way up north, it's definitely worth using it to get back. It gets you back to your helipad like here, and it instant travels. Uh, you can also land your attack helicopter on the roof, as you saw there. Being a CEO also grants you the ability to get free snacks from your um, assistant, which is amazing. Very helpful for when you're doing heists and stuff. You can also access your personal garages from here and get any vehicle delivered to you as well as as soon as you own the buzzard or the cargo bob you can get it delivered right to your you can fly off in it it's 500 for the buzzard and 200 for the cargo bob um, the cargo bob is going to cost you about 1.79 million it's great for car sourcing uh, as well as it helps with heist prep anytime you need to pick up a vehicle and fly it back Usually you're going to be picking up your vehicles from way north in the map and bringing them back to the south end of the map. So flying vehicles is definitely the best way to go. It's going to get you done quicker, make you the most money. So you could just source that when you're coming out to uh, get a vehicle. If you're doing the vehicle work, I have guides on that as well. And then every time you land a helicopter on the roof, it will remain on the roof till you fly off or call it in somewhere else. Another thing to note is there's two free parachutes on the roof, one over the other side there and one on this corner over here. Uh, and then when you're in your main CEO office, the one million dollar one, there's an ammunition right here so you got free access to snacks and then quick um, armor refills and ammo refills. As you can see, you can open up your interaction menu and call in your buzzard again or you can call in your personal vehicle. Now I can't call in my buzzard because I'm too close to it. You have to be a distance away before calling in another vehicle but I could have if it wasn't right on the roof and again stocking up on armor is a great idea. You 
as you can see, I'm wearing a full armor and I have 10 in my inventory, so I have 11 body armors just due to the level I'm at, so definitely keep an eye on that and keep your um, snacks topped up. As you can see, I spawned the vehicle right there. It was really close. So um, the next vehicle is going to be the Terabyte. You're going to need it in order to upgrade the Oppressor Mark II. The Terabyte opens up a lot of options that I'm going to show you in a second. I just want to show you the Oppressor. So we're doing the Jewel, the Diamond Heist. Um, it's a 30,000 payout. It's really simple, really easy. It always spawns in the same location. You can use any of the vehicles I've mentioned so far in this. The only one in this video that you won't be using tactically will be the Scramjet, but I'll show you that in a second. So it's always there, as you saw, I marked it on the map, it's always going to be there. The Oppressor All-In is going to cost you about 6.465 million. So, 6 million, yeah. All-In, because you need to own a nightclub to get the Terabyte, you need the Terabyte in order to upgrade it. Um, and actually add rockets and the boost and armor and a whole bunch of other stuff on it, as well as flares for... Um, keeping other people off of you. You can use any of these vehicles in any of these really easy missions. I've got guides on these missions. They make you a lot of money really quick. It's easy, simple missions. You can do them with crew members. doesn't matter if you die in them, as you can see. I don't fail by doing that. Um, and my car was not repossessed in this video. Now, if it does happen to get repossessed, if you're a CEO, you can call your assistant and go ahead and get your vehicle brought right to you for a thousand. It's 250 if you go all the way to the impound lot and get it back. Or, like I said, a thousand dollars and it's delivered right to you. Really easy, simple tricks here to make money the fastest. If you own the Terabyte, I have guides about using the Terabyte and using the VIP work in order to uh, make the most money while doing car sourcing. I'll try and leave a link to that in this or at the end of the video. That you make 330000 every hour. And again, if you have police on you, you can call Lester. Lester does have a cooldown time and he doesn't help over four star call. felony. And there's some prep work he won't help with, but I have another tip for that later on in the video. So that's a free car from the casino missions. Once you own a penthouse and do the actual missions, uh, you get it. It is semi-bulletproof. I wouldn't say it's hugely worth it, but it's kind of a cool car to have. The Duke of Death is free for return players, or 665000 Similar to the Armored Karuma. Um, but it has a little bit more rocket... Uh, protection. The scramjet is currently on sale right now. Uh, you're going to need a bunker and an MOC to upgrade it, and that's going to total cost is 5.8 million if you don't have the bunker and MOC. If you do have the bunker and MOC, it's between 2.2 million eighty-eight thousand or 2,777,000. It's one of the fastest cars in the game. It does not very great for armor or weapons, but it pretty much flies and it can jump. And then again, you're going to need the MLC for it. So it's in services, and then you can call in your MLC, and they'll come in. It's definitely one of the fastest vehicles in the game. Um, but all in all, I don't know if it's huge worth it. The MLC is definitely worth getting because you need it in order to upgrade some of the vehicles. You need the bunker in order to get the MLC. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you can pretty much upgrade everything. And then within the MLC, you have your Mark II weaponry. You can also get that within the Terabyte. You can also get it within your arcade. But this is how you can get your Mark II weaponry. Um, the bunker research will help you get the explosive rounds for your sniper rifle, which is amazing. I would highly recommend getting this. If you can, I do have guides on my channel if you don't know how to get it. But that is absolutely amazing. And then they also have missions within the MLC too. Currently right now, they're double money, uh, double uh, rep. So you make double the money and double the experience. Uh, as well as, I believe, doing these missions unlocks the discounts for these vehicles. They're not single player. Some of them are two player and more. 
So you'll have to take that into account. But currently, probably till May 28th, they are on sale. Or sorry, they are double money. So that's worth looking into. Another thing that I can note is I mentioned the Duke of Death is free for return players. There's another free car for return players, and that's the Monster Truck. You'll find it right beside the Duke of Death. And there is another free car within Legendary... Uh, vehicles and it's a reasonably fast sports car but it's not like it's definitely if it's your first car and you need something free then get it um, but yeah the monster truck and the Duke of Death are free to return players when you're done with your MOC or your terabyte just remember to put it back to storage in your interaction menu your interaction menu is absolutely a game changer in this game so you definitely need to start getting accustomed to it as you can see, I'm back inside my terabyte. The terabyte is only for upgrading the um, Oppressor Mark II, and it's definitely worth it. Um, aside from that, you do get some jobs and some other things that I'm going to show you in just a second. You can also drive it as a vehicle. You can drive the MLC as a vehicle as well, but it's not really the fastest. They're both heavily armored, but they're not really great for driving. As you can see, you can still shoot from your vehicle with whatever weaponry you want. Uh, you can enter your security camera, which is an, another AFK method, as I mentioned in another video recently. Um, so to access the inside, you need to actually be parked. There's uh, two blue icons. One you can fly into if you're on your Oppressor Mark II, so you can fly your Oppressor Mark II to refill your ammo. Or if you just get out, you can go around and walk back to the other blue circle where you can walk into the fly-in. I'm passing it right now, and then the walk-in is right here. So... It does come with a drone station. The drone station unlocks two new missions um, within the terabyte, so take that into account. It's semi worth buying, but the drone itself is not overly worth it. You can enter a camera mode when you're within the drone, so you can take pictures and stuff if you want to do something nice like that. And then you can fly it around. You do have a boost that makes you fly a little bit faster. You have a shock uh, as well to shock other players or NPCs and a detonate mode to explode other players or other NPCs. Um, there is a charge time for it. As you see I sent my shock it has to recharge. You can't detonate as an explosive while it's recharging. So as you can see I have to wait for that recharge of the shock and then it'll allow me to detonate it. It is a pretty good explosive. It can be used if you need to. Um, if you do drive this all the way over to the diamond when you're doing the client job here, you can explode it and take out some of the people if you want. It does have another feature. This one's not really worth it. I wouldn't waste your money on it. As I believe you need to be parked or have two people, one person driving the vehicle and the other on this. But it has a multiple lock-on system. It's not really accurate. It shoots rockets. It can apparently lock onto five to seven targets at once and blow them up. But all in all, I don't really deem it to be worth it. Um, I bought it to try it, but it's definitely one of my biggest wastes of money is wasting my money on that. And then as you said, as I said, you can drive it to uh, your destinations if you want to park it somewhere. So um, it helps for if you're doing stuff to make money fast. You can park this nearby things. Uh, I'm going to go park it by my high-end apartment. But if you're driving it around and you're trying to do things like, for example, doing the arcade, if you're in your arcade and you're trying to do your prep missions and you're using your Mark II, you might run out of rockets, so you're going to go ahead and just park your terabyte right in the alley, right by your arcade, um, so you can refill your rockets. Or if you're sourcing cars, you're going to park it right here. I have a guide how to make extra money when you're doing vehicle sourcing. Um, so when you deliver your car, you can come right back out and go right in here and do some other missions, make some more money. And if you're doing your cargo, you're going to park it right between your two cargo 
uh, lockups in order to make money faster as soon as you deliver your cargo. You go right back to your terabyte, source another one, and keep going like that. The biggest thing I'd say for the terabyte, other than the oppressor, is going to be this right here. This opens up client jobs, which is all these. They all pay about 30000 They take about 10 minutes to do. They open up your hangar business. You can source your hangar stuff from here. You can source your cargo business from here. You can source your vehicles from here. And you can also steal your supplies for your gun running or your MC businesses from here. So that's a big plus on this. Again, just to note that um, it unlocks two of your client missions by buying the drone. So the next vehicle on the list is going to be the Deluxo, which is probably one of my favorite vehicles on the list. It can be between 7.5 and 8.5 million, depending. Uh, you're going to need the bunker, you're going to need your MOC uh, in order to upgrade it, and then if you buy it, you can get a discount if you do the Doomsday Bunker prep. I actually did do the Doomsday Bunker prep and got the discount, so I got it a little cheaper. Um, but... Uh, the Doomsday Prep was pretty easy. You can do it in a solo public lobby and grab four cars. And then the next mission, you're going to need at least another friend. So you're going to need two people in order to uh, actually uh, do the the mission to unlock the discount. And it's really easy. You just got to get the car close to a couple people for a bit and get the hacking done. And it's, there you go, discount. There is a lot of discounts through the bunker. Um, sorry, it's just through the Doomsday Bunker, so that's worth looking into if you have a couple people that'll help you out with them. I personally just love this vehicle. Uh, the d the only downside is the hover mode is a little bit slow, but it shoots rockets from either hovering or driving. And honestly, it's just like seriously one of the most beautiful cinematic vehicles I've seen in this game in a long time. Like, if you're ever having trouble losing the police, you just go ahead and go down to the sewers here. You don't need to blow the people up, but you can just get to the end of the sewer, which you'll see in a second here, and you can just hide in the sewer. Um, but, like, look at this. This is, like, cinematic, I, I think, anyway, in my opinion. Let me know if you... Comment if you think this is also a cinematic car, because it's just, like... I feel like I'm driving in a movie. <laughs> anyway, when you get to the end of the tunnel, no matter what car you're driving, obviously don't fly a helicopter down here, but any of the other cars I've mentioned... If you have four felony or higher, go ahead and drive down here. It's going to save you some time and some struggle trying to lose the cops. And you're just going to go ahead and stop right here. Um, I usually just get around the corner a little bit. The police usually don't follow you down here. I've never had a, um, the police come down into the tunnel. As you can see, Lester will be unavailable because he I only helps up to three call. star. So he will not right be now. able to help you here. But as you can see on the map, I entered through the tunnel, and the police aren't even up to the tunnel yet. There, they're up to the tunnel now, but I'm going to lose them before they even enter. And they're gone. So, yeah, definitely use that tunnel. It's right below the casino. It's easy to find. It's great for, uh, like, prep work for the casino heist. Definitely, definitely a great thing. And also another cinematic view coming out of that tunnel. It was like this car was meant for that tunnel in so much of this game. And it's just really fun switching between hover mode and drive mode. Um, I've even landed on a couple people playing with a couple of my friends and like just hover over them unexpectedly and then just drop on them. It's kind of funny. So yeah, as, as I said, again, you're going to need the MLC to upgrade this. You're going to need the MLC to upgrade pretty much any vehicle other than the Oppressor Mark II. Um, some vehicles you can do still at the Los Santos Customs, but... Uh, I think the Armored Karuma and the Duke of Death are there, but most of the other vehicles that you get discounts from the Doomsday Prep, you're going to need this in order to upgrade them. Uh, this vehicle does come as a flying vehicle if you don't have it, but it doesn't have the uh, armor upgrades or the rocket upgrades. So it's pretty much just a flying, driving fast car. Um, but you need that to get uh, rockets and armor and all that good stuff in it in order to make it like a deadly vehicle. And again, as I said earlier in the guide here, you can still spawn your um, your buzzard for free from your CEO menu. So if you're a CEO, you can spawn it for free. 
If you're not a CEO, you can still call it in from Pegasus. And if you are a CEO, you can get your free one from your CEO and call in your Pegasus one. And you can actually have three vehicles on the map because you get one Pegasus vehicle, whatever it is. One CEO vehicle, whatever it is. I also should note that there's about five or six CEO vehicles that are absolutely free. As soon as you become a CEO, you can use them from your inventory menu. Um, so you go to Securo Serve, register as a CEO, then go into it and go down to CEO vehicles, and you'll see there's a list of free ones. Some of them cost money. If you do buy it, you have it for that day within the game. So you have it for 48 minutes, and you can call it in as much as you want within 48 minutes. But you can't save it, so... Yeah, if you don't have a buzzard, go ahead and use those vehicles. But as soon as you get a buzzard, definitely use this trick as you can rock two buzzards and an oppressor mark two, two buzzards and a deluxo, pretty much two buzzards and any other car you want. Uh, as you can see, there's my Pegasus one there, and I'm flying my CEO one. And they make things like Headhunter and other things so easy, so fast. It has lock-on rockets. Uh, I would recommend this being either the first or second vehicle you buy if you're just if you're just starting out. And if you're not just starting out and you have some extra money, go ahead and pick this up. It's pretty cheap, 1.75 million, and you can spawn too. So it helps out. Like if you're doing stuff with friends, and say you got the Oppressor Mark II, and you're trying to do some heist prep, go ahead and drop one of these for your buddies. Like you know, you can rock your Oppressor Mark II, which is only a one-seater, which is one downside about it the only thing I can say negative about it and then drop this for one of your friends uh, one thing to note is the buzzard is probably one of the fastest flying vehicles in the game it is faster than the oppressor mark II. it is faster than the deluxo the deluxo is a little bit slow but it's great because it has uh, two seats so it helps with all the heist prep and stuff if you're doing it two-player uh, the only downside about the deluxo is it's probably one of the slower flying vehicles uh, because it, uh, its hover mode is quite slow. I don't know. Oh, I feel like they need to add a boost for it. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, the cargo bob is great for sourcing vehicles. I'll show you. It does spawn into um, the area here. One thing to note about your CEO vehicle, even if it's not a helicopter, if it's a car or whatever, always destroy it when you're done with it if it looks damaged. As you saw, it was smoking white. I shot it a couple times on the tail there and now it's smoking black which means it's about to blow up so essentially always make sure you destroy it when you're done with it if you're especially the buzzard the cars do the same thing so it becomes damaged and it returns damaged so if I hadn't have destroyed it and sourced it again I would have had a almost destroyed buzzard show up to me same thing goes for cars but because I destroyed it the next time I call it in it's gonna be 100 percent perfect health one thing to note about the buzzard or Pegasus vehicles for that matter, you don't have to pay Morris Mutual fees. So every time you destroy it, it doesn't cost you 10 grand. Whereas if you destroy any other personal vehicles, uh, the ones from your garage, you will pay about 10 grand every time you destroy it. But the CEO vehicles and the Pegasus vehicles, you do not pay for repairs on those vehicles if you destroy them. As you can see, the Cargo Bob, it's great for sourcing cars and stuff. It's also fun to just play around with. Uh, here I just took some random NPC's car and threw it into the lake. <laughs> you can do that with friends and stuff too. It's, it's just pretty fun. It's great for um, sourcing cars and um, in your CEO office as well as it helps with the some of the casino heist prep because if you're way, way north like past Sandy Shores and you get this, you fly your cars, you can you can take the cars you need for the heist and actually fly them back to your arcade and it's a lot faster I've timed it it's like at least you save half the amount of time so something that would take you potentially 10 minutes you can do in five minutes and it's just very very helpful it also helps you avoid anybody Hello, that's chasing you so if you get random people spawning on the ground trying to shoot you whether you're sourcing Great. a car the or when you're trying to get a car for your heist if you fly you can fly high enough that they can't shoot you so they don't damage your vehicle when you're selling vehicles and they don't uh, shoot you or kill you when you're trying to get your heist prep done it just helps save a lot of time and in this game time is definitely money 
Now on to my favorite vehicle, my newest vehicle. It is also currently on sale as well as hangers are also on sale. So this is going to be one of your best buys at this time. I have the price of the sale in this video. So if you're past the May 28th, 2020, you're going to miss the sale of it. So hangers are on sale. You can get a good one for 2.2 million. Um, so you're looking at between 4 million or 5 million all in uh, to upgrade it. So 4 million with the hanger to get the chopper. And then about a million, it costs almost a million dollars to fully upgrade this vehicle. Uh, the upgrades weren't on sale right now, so that's worth noting as well. But one of the hidden benefits of this vehicle is the fact that it has um, all the same features as the Buzzard, but it has one extra little feature that is definitely worth it. And again, it's on sale right now till the 28th. Uh, you can get the discount on it as well through your Doomsday Bunker. I didn't actually because I wanted to get it. I want to get this video out while it's still on sale for you guys. Um, so I haven't actually done the discount Doomsday Bunker thing. But as you can see, I have four felony. When you get into this helicopter, and it works for your whole crew, so you can hold four people in here, as soon as you enter stealth mode, boom, two felony. You see that right there. It dropped from four to two, just like that. And you can switch back in and out. Another thing about being in stealth mode is that other online players can't see you. So it can become very helpful when you're using it if you're trying to stay away from other people. You can see the function change as a rocket, or I believe the turret, or rockets pop out. As you saw, I just popped them out there and popped them back in. So that's stealth mode, and when they're out, you're not in stealth mode. But as soon as you trigger stealth mode once, it automatically puts it down to two felony. The police helicopter only comes out at three felony, and even if it's already after you, it will turn around and go away and just put you back to two star, which is only police cars coming around looking for you. So it's a great way to get out of jail free card kind of thing. It does take over your personal vehicle. You can either go and pick it up from your hangar, or the only other way to actually access it is within your inventory menu. You go down to vehicles, and then you will see your regular, your car, but go down one more in your vehicles menu, and you will see um, uh, your planes. When you buy the hangar, you'll automatically get a plane with it for free. I'm not huge on planes. I don't find them very helpful because landing them is just next to impossible. Like, I don't think I could land a plane right where I'm landing this helicopter. I like helicopters because they're more maneuverable. Planes are a little bit faster, usually, but I find the maneuverability is key here. And because this takes over your personal vehicle, you can still spawn in two buzzard attack helicopters. So again, buzzard attack helicopters are great. You can still call in your CEO and your Pegasus one, and this takes over your personal vehicle. So you can have an Oppressor Mark II, or a Deluxo, or this Akula, as well as two attack helicopters. So Buzzard is definitely the most underrated yet overpowered vehicle. Uh, and if you're doing the full-on attack helicopter go, you got the Akula with four seats, each Buzzard with four seats, so you can go around with 12 people airborne flying around the map, making it a lot easier. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoy. Uh, I'm going to have a lot more videos coming up soon. I'm just going to cover over the basics of what I'm saying to buy. <coughs> so any business is going to be in foreclosure, obviously. You'll need a bunker, a nightclub, a facility, and a hangar to cover everything that I've said in this video. As I said, if you're going for a specific car, go for specifically what you need. Um, there's a couple tips I can give you for these. So we're just going to go ahead and look at what we need. So when it comes to um, bunkers, I would recommend the Chumash bunker. It's the closest to the city. It's going to help you for sale missions. Definitely the best one. Nightclubs, one of these two, north, is good because either the missions are in the city or they'll go up north. So that's definitely one of the best places. As for the hangars, this leaves you outside of the city, which is great. Um, I would recommend this one as it's the best for cargo shipping. They're currently right now on sale half price for everything within it till May 28th. So definitely take a look at that. As well as it stops the felony when you're flying over there. You no longer get felony in that military base. You can pick up a couple vehicles. Facilities, I got the one here by uh, the airport. 
Uh, but you could also go for this one down here. It's a pretty good one. Uh, there's a lot to choose between, so it's your own preference. Um, so when it comes to vehicles, this is where you're going to find the Armored Karuma. And again, you can get it on sale by doing the um, the first heist mission in the high-end apartment. The high-end apartment is going to cost you, the cheapest one is 200000 If you do the first heist mission for the first time, you're going to get an extra 100000 bonus. So you'll be making about 200000 the first time you do it. And you can easily, so it pays for itself to buy this, and then you automatically get the discount. You can scroll down or just go here because I know it's this one. So again, 200,000 is the cheapest one. Then you can get the heists and get the free discount. Um, and it'll pretty much pay for itself. And then it opens you up to the other heist missions. Now the rest of the vehicles that I've shown you in this are going to be in Warstock. So right down at the very bottom is the Buzzard. And I would definitely highly recommend getting it. If you don't own any vehicles or whatever, I'd make this either your first or second vehicle to buy because it's just so worth it especially with the CEO abilities. Then you have your terabyte, and there's your MOC. There's your Oppressor Mark II. There's the Scramjet. It's currently on sale till May 28th. There's the Deluxo, one of my favorite vehicles. There's the Akula. Again, it's on sale till the 28th. These two vehicles here are worth mentioning because they're great. I've used them during the gun running. Uh, the truck and the other vehicle they're really good i don't own them yet but i will be owning them probably pretty soon again the duke of death and the monster truck they're potentially free if you're a return player so keep that in mind and then finally there's two delivery trucks for your nightclub i'm going to be covering a guide further on that but they can be found in warstock here that one and that one if you like this content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more very soon. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you for watching, and enjoy.